much guys enjoy is another week same means another vlog and another video to be top so for today's video we will kind of talk about on how can pdf whole online class and modular student during this pandemic so i'll enter if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, so please subscribe and hit the notification bell in order for you to be notified in my latest video upload. So we should not waste our time doing this in show. So in three, two, one, last time. This formal video. So guys, pasensya na sa ingay. Before we are going to start, we are going to have a shout out to Nina. So, a shout out to Marchon Masala. A shout out to Paula Villanueva de Lindo. A shout out to Jovan Verano Villanueva. A shout out to Gary Fudo. A shout out to Marvin Sabino. A shout out to Che Langa. A shout out to Jake Surilla. A shout out to Jessa Tanyuan. A shout out to Saira Pilar. A shout out to Marivilla Soriano. A shout out to Maria Sofia Sarate. A shout out to Alma Jamal. A shout out to Carolyn Villanueva. A shout out to Jim Eman from Buon. At a shout out to Glenn and Cleta. So kung gusto niyo ma shout out guys is just comment below and I will gonna shout out you in my next vlog. So see you in my formal video. So before we are gonna proceed in our formal video, let's have the facts about PDF. So PDF stands for an affordable document format. It is used to display documents in an electronic form independent of the software, hardware, or operating system they are built on. So affordable document format, standardized format, standardized as the ISO. 32,000 is a file format developed for the Adobe. In 1993, to present documents including text, formatting, and images. In a modern, independent application software, hardware, and operating system based on Wikipedia. So, may nakalagay din dito ang standardized ISO 32,000Z latest release, release pala. 2.0 developed by Adobe and Corporation 1993 to 2008 ISO 2008 initial release 15 June 1993 27 years ago so it is extended to PDF slash A PDF E PDF B A PDF B B T and PDF X so it is extended as follows. So there are programs for individuals. So Adobe Arova to complete PDF solution. E-signatures collect signatures and fill and sign forms. Acrobat PDF fact essential PDF tools for every day. Acrobat expert PDF converts PDF to Word or Excel. Acrobat reader view sign and another PDFs and Acrobat online tools work with PDFs now. So let's proceed in the best free PDF apps for iOS and Android. So let's proceed in the first one. Soda PDF Merge. So let's see what is Soda PDF Merge. Basically, the best free mobile PDF app of all time. So, that's it. So, let's proceed in the second part. The Adobe Acrobat. So, what is Adobe Acrobat? So, based in the definition, get the name and get premium features. So, siguro guys, we can get the name and get premium features through the Adobe Acrobat. So, let's proceed in the third. One is the Fox set. Foxet. So it is a lightweight and fast. So Foxet is lightweight and fast. So let's proceed in the last part, which was Google PDF Uber. 
another lightweight Android app for Google lovers. So, ito yung ginagana ko guys. Google PDF Viewer. So, now, last to see it in Creator. So, Adobe System. The portable document format PDF was created in the early 90s by Adobe Systems. Introduced at the Windows and OS slash Z conference in January 1993 and remained a proprietary format until it was released as an often standard in 2008. So that's it guys. So you know. So now we are done initiating the facts about PDF so we can now proceed in our topic regarding on how PDF can help online class and modular student during this event. So, let's proceed in our first one. So, PDF can give you a hint about the subject. So, PDF can give you a clue about that certain subject. For example, lang guys, is grade 11. How many more grade 11? So, for example, na subject is Filipino. So, yung Filipino kasi namin is entitled Communication sa Pananagiksi so we cut Cultura Filipino. So, yun yung title namin. Sa so, first semester namin, yun yung ayun bawang subject namin. Pero marami pa. As follows, mga English, mga uh, oral communication at others sa mga mga. So, yun. Halimbawa, Filipino. So, may idea ako. Siyempre, di ba, tinanungan ako kung ano yung subject nun. Sa grade 11. So, halimbawa, yun. So, pagkakaroon ako ng idea sa pamamagitan ng pag-open ng PDF, kung ano nga ba yung subject nito, kung ano yung i-discuss nito. So, may viewpoint ako about that subject dahil ginamit ko yung PDF. The PDF can help ready your mind from the sad lesson in your specific grade level. So, yung pinag-uusapan nito sa second part is lesson. So, through PDF, pagkakaroon tayo ng ideas kung ano nga ba yung lesson sa subject na ito. Para naman, uh, mag-boost yung mind matter na maging ready tayo in terms kung ano man yung papagawa sa atin, yung mga activities. Dahil nag-learn tayo, dahil nagbasa tayo. At um, naunahan na natin yung module sa nabaw or yung mga um, online class na binis ka sa atin. So, Meron nga, may PDF tayo. Um, malalaman natin kung ano yung lesson at marilay din natin yung mind natin na hindi tayo mabibigla. So, let's proceed in a third part which was PDF can give you enough information. So, PDF can give you enough information. So, paano nga ba? So, for example lang yung space. Um, yung pages ng loaders mo is kulang. Pero, um, pero yung sa iba, kompleto naman. So, kailangan mo ba bang i-check yung mga classmates mo kung may load ka naman pwede mo lang naman siyang i-search sa Google at may PDF mo siyang lalabas. So, makakaroon ka na rin ng hint. Pero make sure alam mo yung title ng subject mo para naman uh, lumabas yung um, title ng PDF at para malawin mo siya at makatuloy mo yung activities na na-optional dahil nga ulang yung pages mo. At Pag-apain naman ng online text, for example, is my lesson teacher. So, ano nga ito yung um, meaning nun? So, parang hindi ka, um, hindi ka, hindi ka pa familiar doon. Pero, may PDF ka, narali mo yung mind mo. Dahil nga, um, pinag-aralan mo na at magkakaroon ka na ng ideya at yung sapat na informasyon para ipaliwanan yun. Dahil nga, na, nag-read ka na at naging ready ka na at pinangunahan mo na yung yung mga question kasi alam mo na yung lesson. So, let's proceed in a fourth part which was pin up can be downloaded so you can open it offline when you really needed it. So, nga, sinabi ko nga na yung pin up is pwede natin ma-download at pwede siya offline. So, kung hindi na need na natin yun at hindi pa naman natin need yun so pwede natin gamitin yun sa time na need na natin para magamit at para um, magamit na niya yung needs natin so example lang guys is may assignment kayo so 
para magkaroon ka ng sagot is magsiskan ka sa um, PDF para may answer ka, para may subject ka, para may may explain ka sa kanila. Dahil nga, yung PDF, source natin siya ng information at source din natin siya ng ideas kung paano yung gawin, kung paano yung i-perform. So, through PDF, malalaman talaga natin kung paano yung mga bagay-bagay na hindi pa natin lubos na familiar sa atin. So, yun lang guys. Kung paano natin magamit yung PDF kahit offline, um, dapat lang natin i-download ko. Hindi ka naman natin yun. Pero diba, mas maganda yung ready tayo. So guys, pasensya na guys. Ang hinay, ulan yan. So, malapit nang bumaka sa amin. So, let's see then our key part or our last part. So, PDF can be a source of the viewer in order to be logic in PDF, exam, and summative text. So, sa mga magkita ng PDF, pagkakaroon ng tayo ng reviewer at maging ready tayo siyempre sa mga dating na mga activities plus ready yung mga exam. So, mag-worry ko. Bakit wala tayong uh, nag-worry tayo dahil wala tayong reviewer. Wala tayong kinu-download. So, worry tayo kasi baka magiging lowest tayo kung halimbawa lang. So, you feel that kaya yung mag-store so, yung worries mo dahil Through the loading PDF and opening it offline, maanggado na yung worries mo at makakabigyo ka na at makakagat ka na ng um, mataas ng grades or score, syempre. So, kailangan din natin ng pasipagan, syempre. Wala namang silbi yung PDF kung hindi tayo masipag na mag-review. Syempre, diba?